Twin Limited sounds familiar. Ambient Escalator. Heavy Silicon. Moods of the Storm. I don't hear anything. Oh, you don't hear anything. That's... Hmm. Disappointing. Air Mixture! Come on! Let's get some... <laughs> what? Can I kill myself? Methane Enhanced. Sure. Oh, who farted, dude? Oh. I better go. Before my friends, the droids, figure out how to come up here. So, you have to jump on this thing. Or out the window. Which is pretty cool, I have to say. Whee! This area looks like a kind of parking lot for that unattended... What? What? Was? Well, va what? Fattened? Is this a word? Unattended, right? Very streamlined vehicle. What the fuck? The craft has no visible wheels, so presumably it uses <clears throat> some other means of uh, propulsion. There doesn't seem to be anyone interested in coming by this remote, remote spot. This shit just threw me here. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> anyway, let's go. Phew, it's a good thing the suit comes complete with a friction resistant lining in the seat of its pants. Uh, yeah? That is good news. So, can we get in? Use it? We have to jump in it since it's open. Oh, great. Oh, should have really heard. Yeah, I imagine. Some car owners are so security conscious. Well, you are trying to steal it, though. Just putting things into perspective here. Uh, well, what do we have? We have the... Oops. We have the arm computer. It seems to work with everything around here, so why not with this? Of course it does. Let us jump in! And here come the robots. Interesting. There's a low hum as the vehicle standby mode automatically kicks in, and an invisible domed energy shield forms above your head. But the complex dashboard in front of you remains dark and lifeless, apart from a single flashing light on one of its many display screens. Oh, great. Greetings, user. Welcome to your PTV, personal transport vehicle. Now sit back and enjoy the ride. On behalf of Kaiton Industries, we hope you have a pleasant journey. Thank you, that is so nice. Um... Status monitor. Awesome. Navigation screen. N vehicle status. One of many monitors, okay. Get another console. It's the card input slot for the anti theft device. Card. Card. Card! Hey, when did I get this? Hold on a second, before you do anything else, I want to check this out. I didn't even. Identity card with alien symbols in Boston. Oh, the Sophina's, right? Pass the card with the cipher with symbols on it. Oh, it's one of those. Probably, I think. This one? <sighs> Insert the other thing? Yeah. Awesome. Um, yeah, I have to use something here, right? One of these? 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 Yeah, this is the theft device. So, here we go. This number you could get from the, uh, from your, uh, manual, from the game's manual. Uh, I think I still remember it. Was, was it eight? Six, six, seven, four? Holy shit, it's still the same number. Holy fucking shit, how do I remember this? It's been like two years. In no time, the PTV space vehicle is <coughs> circling through space at a phenomenal speed, with no specified destination. The vastness of space reaches away to infinity in all directions creating an overwhelming sense of loneliness and isolation, when suddenly... What? Oh. Unexpected.
unexpectedly your vision starts to cloud over, and you see before you the deep blackness of infinity. You feel a trance-like state coming on, and a hole in space seems to open up before you, as your altered mind causes you to see events far across the reaches of space. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Baron Khalif, there is a new presence in the vicinity of the Felnop Cluster. The Supreme Cogniter, Cogniter has identified as a being alien to our universe, and one who could be dangerous to us. We must not allow the healer's legend to unfold. Seek him out and destroy him. Ooh-hoo-hoo-hoo. Seek him, I shall, my liege. Could you be more whipped? Pathetic. Uh-oh. Uh, well, they got here fast. Visual on, okay. Amaze me. Dude. The fuck? Greetings, alien thing. Smooth. Alien vessel, this is Snorglat, galactic entrepreneur of the trading vessel Dorfug. State your name and business and make sure you have good reason for being in my territory. I do not take kindly to pirates. Well, I'm not a pirate? It's the wrong game, dude. <laughs> I've, I've got to. I've got to. Show me timbers? I'm no pirate. Case, what are you skinny white thing? Hey now. I ain't skinny. I'm fat like you. I mean... <laughs> Oh, uh, no. I'm not just gonna... Hi, my name is Spores, and I was wondering... Okay. Miss Spores, and I was wondering if you knew how to get to the real world. As of no concern to me, scum. But on the other hand, if you have something to trade, maybe we'll strike some kind of deal. Hmm. Sorry, but I've got nothing on me, apart from a rather... What? A rather what? Kiss my skinny white butt, snork, whatever your name is. <laughs> yeah... I think I might die on this one. <laughs> if I had saved, like, just before... Nah, fuck it. Better safe than sorry. Sorry, but I've got nothing on me, apart from a rather cheap ring I got from a cereal box. Of course, you carry that around with you. Fucking weirdo. Okay, this time I'll let you off, but if I ever see you again on my trading turf, you better have something for me, or else. Thanks, Snorgy. You seen you, homie. So, uh, where did it go? I mean, not that this isn't pretty and all, but, eh. <sighs> uh, um, shit. <laughs> oh well, let's navigate, shall we? Just like function, navigate, of course, of course. <clears throat> okay, this is me, apparently. What's this? Luxas, three barren planet, highly toxic atmosphere. Yeah, no. What's this? Jorslav, four uninhabited rock planet, oxygen, methane atmosphere. Um, yeah, my memory tells me it's this one. What, what else do we have? Balcoma, seven volcanic planet, thin rocky crust above liquid core. I would go to each and one, each one of them and show you what's on there, but I don't. I think you can't even land on those. It's just you know one or two planets we can actually land on, and all this other stuff is way too far away to reach with your little, um, with your little shuttle or whatever you have, your PTV. What's this? The Gnarl Galaxy, a small but significant galaxy, famous for its industry and harmony between many advanced species. The region is rich in natural resources. Oh, shit, I didn't want to go. Oh, yeah. Let's look at them. It's beautiful, isn't it? <sighs> Never ever have I seen something this beautiful since that Windows 95 screensaver. Oh, well. Let's go. Navigate. Jorslav. Well, let's look at these uh, first here. White hole. Warning of avoid core radius of cosmic emissions. It's too bad you can't actually go to a white hole. That would be cool. Black hole? No, yeah, black hole. With radial zone of gravitational entrapment. I'm thinking you're just pulling the shit out of your ass. What's this? Judd Fornost. 
This large artificial planet is the primary commercial base of the Virgon Empire. Virgos, the brightest inhabited star system, <coughs> star system of the Empire, from which the Virgon Galaxy Cluster derived its name. Okay, what's this? Great white hole, the center of a vast cluster of suns formed as, a, as matter emerges from anti-space into the parallel universe. Okay, I'm thinking these guys really did watch too much Star Trek. 